My name is Dr. Cindy Chang. I'm a physician and clinical professor at the University of California, San Francisco in primary care sports medicine. So the focus of the lecture today was to engage the students to think about the different types of ways that injuries and some illnesses can be imaged. So the traditional imaging could consist of x-rays and then more extensive imaging could be an MRI as well, and that's what people know about. With x-rays, even though they're easily accessible, they only show bone, and they do incur some radiation. And so I think it's really important for the students to understand that just asking for an x-ray does have its risks, and especially if you get more imaging studies that use radiation, such as CT scans. That is a risk to students and patients. And in this age of really being cost-effective in medicine uh, in our society and trying to keep healthcare costs down, one tool that has been remarkable has been bedside ultrasound. And bedside ultrasound is a tool that we can use. Now certainly it has its limitations, but despite that we can use it for certain things. What's great for the patient is they can see what's going on and it helps reassure them. And if something needs to be done, it can either be done under ultrasound guidance, for example, an injection or an aspiration, or the ultrasound can say, well, we really do need to go and get that next step and get an MRI to further delineate the injury. It's just a really exciting tool. I think for the students to be able to see the ultrasound be performed on one of their classmates, and they can see, wow, that's what the inside of the joint looks like, that's what the tendon looks like, that's what the nerve looks like, it really brings it to life. I'm Amanda, and I'm from Brazil, but I actually live in Mozambique, in Africa. Uh, she called me up to have an ultrasound on my wrist, and it was really, really cool. I, I had never realized the difference between an ultrasound, an x-ray, and an MRI, but it was really interesting to see all of my bones, my nerves, and how everything works inside. And it was like, it was actually pretty simple, but for you to recognize what is showing in the image, it's, you have to have some experience. So I, I was really impressed, you know, she, she knew every single part of my wrist and I was just like, that's, that's really interesting. Beforehand, she talked about the difference between MRI, X-rays, and um, ultrasounds. And she talked about the exposure to radiation. And I found that really important since, uh, for example, if you do an MRI or a CT, you have two years exposure to radiation as if it was like natural exposure. So I found that really interesting. My name is Antonia and I'm from Santa Barbara, California. I volunteered myself for the activity just because I know I have something up with my shoulder so I kind of wanted her to go in to see if she could find anything else. It was really cool when I got up there because I got to see the different tools that she was using. I got to see it hands-on. I got to feel what it was like to have an ultrasound which was super cool. It just made the activity so much more hands-on that I actually got to go up and experience it. You got to see different um, nerve endings and joint beginnings, different crevices in the bones. It was, it was very cool.